بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سالار خان ہیر and today with the topic of the effect of temperature alright the effect of temperature on uh, on the VI characteristics of diode effect of temperature on VI for characteristics I write it shorter like this all right now 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 what do we we saw in the previous video that if that not if we we know it all right so if this is id and this is vd so if the that is reached the breakdown potential 0 0.3 volts is reached we have initially zero then a, 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 a small increase and then at this we have an exponential rise so this is for this is zero right this is I've just shown it above because then the markers don't work properly this is considering the silicon atom all right we are considering the silicon all right this was for the forward bias Similarly, we have for the reverse bias as well. We have some value of reverse saturation current. And this is the breakdown. Is that fine? All right. Now, let the initial value, this was 10 nanoamperes. Let it be 10 nanoamperes. We are done. Okay. Now, what is the effect of temperature? This is just a normal we are graph all right so the temperature what happens in the forward bias state let me write the forward bias so in the forward bias the graph the vi characteristics it shifts left at a rate of 2.5 millivolts per degree centigrade rise in temperature okay so it shifts to the left for each and every 2.5 degree rise in temperature similarly if you decrease the temperature so it will shift right if you decrease the temperature And at the same rate, all right, at the same rate, 2.5 millivolts per degree rise in temperature. Is that fine till here? All right. So this is the graph at what? This is the graph at room temperature. The blue color represents room temperature. So let me write it over here. Room temperature. And I take it to be 25 degrees Celsius. I, and I made a mistake, okay, this, if, I, if I'm considering a silicon atom, then this is 0 0.7. The barrier potential is 0 0.7 for silicon, all right, it is 0 0.3 for germanium. Now what happens? For each degree rise, all right, so we are shifting it to the left. So let's say I am raising the temperature by 100 degrees. So if I raise the temperature by 100 degrees, so how many units do I have to shift left is I multiply the 2.5 millivolts by this 100. So I get a 2.5 multiply 100 is 0 0.25. This is what this I have increased the temperature by 100 degree centigrade, which means the new temperature is what new temperature is 125 degrees and what would be the new barrier potential new VB it has shifted to the left by this much units by these much units all right so which means the new potential would be the previous that is 0 0.7 minus this 0 0.25 so let me write it by VB dash it would be 0 0.35 so the new barrier potential has now reduced so let's say this is 0 0.35 
and and we have it like this assert as we have a rapid increase at 0.3 volts is it fine now if you decrease the temperature this was for increasing all right now if you decrease in the same forward bias decreasing by 100 degree celsius so again we have the same thing we have 100 degree celsius multiplied by a 2.5 millivolt will result in a 0.2 volt shift these much units we have to shift to right all right so to the shift to right we need to now add the new uh, these units to the previous one all right so which means the new temperature is what the new temperature this is a hundred uh, this is a negative 75 degrees because the initial was 25 and I brought it a hundred degrees lower so we have a new temperature is 75 negative 75 and now the new barrier potential VB prime would be 0 0.7 plus 0 0.25 which is 0 0.95 so have a look this is f0.95 so what do you have you have it like this initially these are zero i'm just drawing them above the axis just above because then the markers don't work properly so now this is the graph the red color indicates increase of temperature and the green the, the 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 decrease of temperature now what happens in the in the what uh, reverse bias condition so if we go for the reverse bias condition so what do we have for every 10 degree rise in temperature the reverse saturation current doubles for every 10 degrees celsius rise in temperature the reverse saturation current that is is doubles all right so let's say this was the 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 value for room temperature so at room temperature we have at 25 degree centigrade we have 10 nano amperes so now if you increase it to 35 degree centigrade you have a 20 nano amperes similarly for 45 degrees you have a 40 nano amperes for 55 you have 80 nano amperes for 65 we are going to the same uh, 125 right so at 65 we have uh, 160 nano amperes at 75 degrees we have uh, 320 nano amperes at 85 we would have uh, 640 at 95 uh, 1280 at 105 uh, 2560 then at 115 uh, 4000 5000 5120 right so let me check it 5120 exactly and at 125 degrees finally we have what doubling this 10240 10240 nano amperes which is equivalent to 1, 2, 3, 10. Point 2, 10.2, 10.2, uh, so 3 units, so this would be microamperes. So from 10 nanoamperes, we are in 10 microamperes at 100 degrees, all right? So if this is the, where is it? Okay, so 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 this red color, all right, this is now the, 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 10 micro amperes so we are here by increasing temperature the reverse saturation current has increased and so has so will this 
breakdown voltage increase now now if you decrease temperature if you decrease temperature in the reverse bias state so i have searched for it very much decreasing t all right so i did not get it in any book i have searched two to three books other youtube videos but i did not get any proper proof that what to do so i just would say to leave it like this because i don't know what to say i will still have some uh, work on it and if i find it so i will make a video on it what happens when we decrease the temperature in the reverse bias state well we can conclude from here if that if it is being doubled from by increasing the temperature so it would be half for decreasing the temperature by 10 degrees centigrade but that is not uh, what that is not written in any book nor in any video i've just concluded it from here so we i draw a graph like this so the saturation current has decreased and so does the 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 uh, breakdown voltage this graph is given in books but uh, the reason is not given all right so so we just draw the graph and if i find the reason somewhere so i will let you know now let me conclude this all right so if we conclude this so uh, by increasing temperature in the forward bias state what happens by increasing temperature the barrier potential reduces all right if the temperature is increased the barrier potential reduces and similarly if the temperature uh, is decreased yes temperature is decreased so the barrier potential increases this is for what this is for the uh, forward bias state all right this is so let me write it in the heading over here for the forward bias and similarly if we have the reverse bias if we have the reverse bias so by increasing the temperature the breakdown voltage increases by increasing the temperature the breakdown voltage v bv increases and similarly by decreasing the voltage by decreasing the voltage the breakdown voltage v bv decreases all right so that was about the vi effect of temperature on the vi characteristics so if you want me to read out some points from the book well we don't have any points all right these are i've just said it all in the forward bias region the characteristic of silicon diode shift to the left at a range of 2.5 millivolt per centigrade right in temperature and that we have to see a deceased a decrease in temperature has the reverse effect all right silicon diodes with room temperature is closer to 10 pico ampere are level 2.62 yes we we just seen gallium arsenide devices are available that work very well in the range of what negative 200 degree centigrade to a positive 200 degree centigrade all right with some having maximum temperature approaching to 400 degree centigrade just imagine 400 degree centigrade okay it is important to note that the reverse breakdown voltage of a semiconductor diode will increase or decrease with the with what uh, with the decrease or increase in temperature <laughs> however if the initial breakdown voltage is less than 5 volts the breakdown voltage may actually decrease with temperature the sensitivity of the breakdown potential to changes of temperature will be examined in more detail in 1.15 and this section this section 1.15 is of the zener diodes which i told you we will be studying in a great detail all right so that's all about the vi characteristics that's all about the temperature uh, effect on the vi characteristics see you in the next lecture very soon inshallah i don't know what topic we have to cover till then take care of yourselves and everyone around you goodbye